What's up guys, Shiny and Trezak here back with another TCG pack opening video. Furious Fist hasn't been too great to me lately, after the pre-release that is. I had a pretty nice pre-release and got some uh, good packs from that. But I've opened up 8 packs from Blisters and then an Elite Trainer Box with 8 more packs. And I've pulled 3 Hollows from those and that's it. So, that's really unfortunate. That's 3 out of 16. That's really bad odds. So today we're going to try and turn that around by opening up one of the Furious Fist's three-pack blisters. So today we have the Trevenant one, and I suppose in another video we will open up the Slurpuff one. We have the Trevenant Hollow, which is XY14, a Black Star promo. Here's what the back looks like. It's really nice artwork of Mega Lucario. This is what the pack art looks like, just really nice and uh, high quality there. It says, give your collection a boost. You can pause and... I don't know, read that if you want. There's the top one, and there's the bottom one. Becoming King of the Ring is what they want you to do. But we'll go ahead and open this up. We'll check out not only the card, but it also comes with a coin, which is pretty cool. So we'll save those packs for just a minute. Might as well show off the promo card first. We have here a nice Trevenant with 110 HP, it is not the same one as the item lock one. It is a different one with Eerie Wave and Wood Hammer, so we'll put that in the background. And then we have a pretty cool purple uh, Shard Hollow Genesect coin. So that's kind of interesting. It's so sparkly, my camera almost doesn't want to focus on it, but there it is. Really cool. I don't know. I'll put that off to the side. And then we have our three packs. So I guess we'll start off with Mega Heracross, and then we'll do Tyrantrum and Mega Lucario. Please, 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 can I get an ultra rare, whoops, from one of these packs, at least. There are so many awesome ultra rares to pull, and I need to pull some of them. I need to pull all of them, actually. All of the ultra rares. We have Shroomish, Clefairy, Torchic, Pancham, Machop, Full Heal, Strong Energy, and Training Center. Nice. My reverse is... A Bellsprout, which is just a common. And my rare is a Sylveon regular rare, which I do not have yet. Or I did not have until just now. I believe that to be the first Sylveon that they've printed since the uh, the Eevee box that came with all the Eevee Lucians in, I think they were promos, so that's pretty cool. Makuhita, a Skorupi, Mianfu, Magmar, Shelmet, Gotharita, Vibrava, and Sparkling Robe. My reverse is a Cub Chew, which is just a common. Uh, there's actually a Bear Chick in the set that could be a pretty nice Pyro counter uh, in some decks. So that's cool. I might like to use that reverse. And my rare. Oh, yes! I did get an Ultra Rare. Yes! Yes! Heracross EX. Not the most playable of EXs of the uh, four or five that come in this set. This one's probably the uh, second least playable, or maybe even the least playable, I'm not sure. But it does come with a Mega Evolution, which I hope to pull later. That's an awesome card, though. I needed that for my set. Very nice, 170 HP. Guard Press for 2 energy does 40, and any damage done to Heracross is reduced by 20 next turn. And then Giga Power does 80 for 3, and you can do 40 more damage, but you do 20 to yourself. So, pretty cool looking card. We'll put that, th we'll put that in the background next to Trevenant. And let's open up this final pack and see if there's anything else in here. Bought my camera there, whoops. Alright, code 12312. And we have a Scraggy, Bellsprout, Mianfu, Plusle, Poliwag, Mountain Ring, Hitmonchan, and Dedenne. My reverse is a Blaziken, which is normally hollow in the set. Very nice. There's a closer look at it. And my last rare is a Hypno. So this is kind of an interesting card. Hand control says your opponent reveals as her hand. You may choose a supporter card you find there. If you do, your opponent plays that supporter card. However, you make all the decisions for that card. So this is very gimmicky. It would only be effective in a certain few situations, but say, I don't know, your opponent has five cards left in their deck, 
and they have a few cards in their hand, and you use this attack, and one of those cards is a Professor Juniper. You can use their Professor Juniper, make them use it, and then they can't draw, and you win because they ran out of cards. Something like that, it would be a really obscure situation, or like, they have one or two prizes left to take, and they have an end in their hand, and you can end them down to one or two. So, very gimmicky, I'm not sure if it's worth it, especially on a stage one, but that's just an interesting attack to go over. So, that is going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Like and favorite the video and leave a comment below. And until next time, I will see you guys later.